Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny and I'm Tie Guy. This is my YouTube channel and I'm going to show you the fastest way to tie a bow tie. And uh, just to see what I'm talking about, here's the clip. So as you can see, that's pretty fast, and I'm going to show exactly how I learned it, how I practiced it, and of course I'm going to break it down with the actual bow tie and show you how to tie the fastest bow tie ever using the Ian knot. Alright, let's get started. So I learned this from watching a YouTube video uh, of a shoelace knot from this guy named Professor Shoelace. So if you want to find the original video, search for Pro Professor Shoelace, the Ian knot. He'll show you how to do it. But this is what it is. Um, taking, taking your shoelaces, I've already got it tied over once like this. Taking your fingers once uh, around underneath your shoelace, from my point of view. And the other way is going to come around from the other way. So you sort of do these miniature hand rolls. And now your, these, your thumb and forefinger are going to grasp onto the opposite shoelace and pull them through and then you have a knot. So the, I saw this video and I thought, well, you know, everybody says tying a bow tie is just like tying your shoelaces. So, so this is how I uh, practice in front of the TV on, on how to learn the hand roll technique and the finger gripping technique. Uh, and I've seen people teach how to tie a bow tie like this. So I figured, well, maybe this is a good way to practice and get that. So, you know, hopefully I've got them about the same length and uh, this is exactly what I did. I tried to copy the professor, professor's shoelaces, uh, same movements. So I would grip the end of my bow tie, like so, make these sort of like pistol, bring my fingers together. One would go around the outside, one would go around the inside. And now I have my, two, my thumb and forefinger pointing towards each other. And now I want to grab the opposite side. So on the outside of my thumb and forefinger, I want to grab this one on the outside. And then the outside piece, again, I want to grab with my thumb and forefinger as well. So I'm going to cross over like this. And I'm going to hook with my my forefingers and pull and help with my thumbs. I can let go of my pistol and pull it all the way through now. Now I basically have, have the bow tie, it's just really messy. But that's pretty much how the Ian knot is done. So at, right off the bat, this is a, I've seen people teach how to tie a bow tie like this, practicing on their leg. Um, so I figured this might be a good way to practice to get the hand rolled and the, and the finger gripping exactly where I want. So the first thing I did to try to make it easier for myself is I have an adjustable bow tie and I want to, I undid it and I let it all the way up. So I have lots of slack here. So I'm not going to use the whole thing, but okay. So having each end about the same length, grabbing the, almost the very end of your bow tie, you're going to make a pistol. So your bottom three fingers are holding onto your bow tie, put your thumb and forefinger together. And now there's two hand rolls that are going to happen. On your left hand side, I'm going to roll on the outside and bring it back in. On the right hand side, I'm going to roll from the inside and underneath and bring it back in. Now these two thumb and forefingers are facing each other. And now with my, I want to be able to use my thumb and forefingers to pinch the big ends that are across. So the part that you're aiming for is each bow tie strap is on top of your thumb and forefinger. So if you're aiming somewhere else, you're not aiming at the right thing. So as long as you got this, you'll know by, from the origin of your knot, one side is going down or towards you, and the other side is going up or t away from you. Now you can reach in with your thumb and forefinger and grab those top pieces. You can let go of your pistol you can let those loose as long as you have those other two pieces pinched and now you can pull a bow, your bow tie through. Now of course this is a little overly big 
because I let my bow tie out all the way. But that's pretty much how I practiced over and over again. So I would do grab the ends, thumb and forefinger together. One roll goes on the outside and in, the other one goes on the inside and back in together, grabbing. Make your bow tie. So I would do this over and over again. Okay, so this is not a beginner tutorial on how to tie a bow tie. I expect you already to know how to tie a bow tie, but this, of course, uh, is how to do the in knot and doing the bow tie super fast, or how I've translated the in knot. All right, so I'm taking my adjustable bow tie and I've given myself another half inch of slack just to make it a little bit easier for myself to show you guys. And while you guys are learning, it'll be easier to learn. Um, with that extra slack, given that the knot uses up a tiny bit more. All right, so throw your bow tie over your shoulder, do the once the crossover, and of course cinch it up to your neck. You want your two straps, your two ends of your bow tie being about the same length. Now I want to take my hands and grasp my bow tie. I'm going to so I'm going to make these pistols here. So with my bottom three fingers at the very bottom of the bow tie, I'm going to grasp. I'm going to make a fist with that. I'm going to make a pistol now. Um, so with my left hand, I want to bring my thumb and forefinger together on both sides. On my left hand, I want my thumb forefinger to point up, and I want it to. You want to. Tw you know, you're going to lift your elbow up a little bit to the front, and that'll bring your thumb and forefinger underneath the bow tie, so it's underneath. And then you have your right hand. It's already with the th uh, bow tie already underneath your fingers, but now you're pointing in the same direction. All right. So this is where the first hand roll comes in. Taking your right hand, I'm gonna I'm gonna start lifting my elbow up. That'll draw my foot. Lifting my elbow up and turning my wrist in will bring my fingers underneath, sort of like this. So I'm gonna do this hand roll from the inside, and then lifting my elbow straight up so it's parallel. I'm going to leave my hand here for now, and now with my left hand, I'm going to do the same hand roll in reverse. So this is, instead of pulling your wrist inwards towards your body, you're going to be flicking it outwards and up. And now you can pull it back down and underneath. So I'll do that by lifting my elbow, and you'll see my thumb and forefinger in behind the bow tie. And now I can bring my elbow down. So now we can spread our fingers a little bit. So what we want to do is be able to match these in, inside of each other. So thinking of your four fingers like hooks, I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to hook onto this piece of the bow tie. So if you look at it like that, I'm going to grab this one. And with my other four finger, I'm going to grab this piece here. So on, the, on my left hand side, I'm grabbing the inside between my thumb and forefinger, and on the right hand side, I'm grabbing the outside of my thumb and forefinger. So as I, as I hook them, now they're intertwined. I'm going to sort of let go of my pistol. I have my thumbs in there. My thumbs are going to help my forefingers hook and grab each end and pull through. Uh, as you can see, that's not the perfect knot, but this is where you can adjust it very easily, very quickly. So that's how you do the Ian knot. Of course, you need to practice that. And as you can see, I have a twist over the front and that's uh, not common or not, not normally on purpose uh, when you do uh, a regular bow tie. So that's how you do the Ian knot with the bow tie. Thank you, thank you to the guy that invented the Ian knot for the shoelaces so I could figure it out and translate it for bow ties. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you uh, come up with some crazy ways of doing bow ties. I'd love to learn about it and love to give you guys a shout out and uh, do, that, do that tutorial for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.